Welcome to the Rambling, Ranting, and Writings podcast, in which I chronicle my personal journey through various life events, most notably pharmacy school, residency, my career, and various upcoming milestones in my life. This content originally started as a personal blog of mine on Tumblr, and since I'm interested in dabbling in podcasts in the future, and I guess technically I am now, I figured I'd share some of my personal thoughts with all of you in hopes that it'll help to inspire or motivate some of you in your own personal journeys. Today's episode is titled Liver Transplant Experience. It was originally posted on May 3rd, 2012, and I was currently in my third year in pharmacy school on rotations. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So today was an interesting day. I went to liver transplant rounds this morning and apparently it was going to be busy. Three patients were admitted within the last hour for OLTs, aka orthotopic liver transplant procedures. And so I spoke to a few individuals and got lucky because I was on board for the 12 p.m. procedure. Very interesting, might I say, because we actually rounded on all these patients. So the patient that I saw was a very unique case and I may end up doing my final case presentation on this patient since it was so interesting. The patient had a perfectly fine liver, but due to a rare disease, who actually needed liver transplant for a cure. Long story short, the procedure is a domino liver transplant in which his liver will be removed and donated to another patient that is on the waiting list. He will subsequently be transplanted with a liver from a deceased individual. So I'm not too good with blood, needles, wounds, etc. Kind of one of the reasons why I never did medical school. But this was the first surgery I saw and I was surprised I didn't get sick or faint. The procedure itself was very interesting. The surgeon is known for being fast and it was a three hour skin to skin procedure. I learned a lot about proper operating room etiquette and the very distinct smell of burning flesh when they cauterize during the initial incision. The anesthesiologist was also very helpful, teaching me and the PGY1 resident all the things that they monitor for during the procedure, the types of incisions being made, and the actual procedure compared with the traditional procedure they used to use back 15 years ago. After the liver was harvested from the patient, it was immediately set in the back where another team was getting it ready and prepped for the next patient. The OR room had roughly 15 individuals with 20-ish or so total that entered and left the room. Overall, a very, very interesting experience. That's it for this week's episode of the Rambling, Rantings, and Writings podcast. Thank you all for tuning in and listening. If you've enjoyed this content, please do let me know. I'm always interested in feedback from my audience on ways to improve, and it's certainly nice to hear from you all in general, be it good or bad. Again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the next episode.